You need to look at your children and work for them. My brothers, I promise you, a lot of the men are guilty of not working for their children in a way that they don't spend time with them, they don't communicate with them, they don't really listen to the problems they're going through and the problems are changing from time to time. We're living in a generation where the difficulties we had a long time ago, our children no longer have those. They have a much more high-tech problem than ours. Much more high-tech. Their problems and difficulties are so different that even the food they eat sometimes is a mess. When I say a mess, I mean highly modified. Some countries have banned genetically modified foods because studies are going on to prove that some, some of these types of food could be harmful to you in a big way. And here we are sitting and we don't even we don't even have time to talk to our children. Some people ask, saying, you know, I cannot discipline my child. And I normally say that's because your communication is lacking. You, if you communicated from a young age, you showed interest and keenness every day when they went to school, you made sure it was your business, find out what's going on, you know, once in a while, make sure that you go out and have fun with them and don't just shout and scream and admonish them. No, let them make their errors and blunders and mess and break the glass and break this and break that. It's part of... I know the children who are here, please don't go around breaking things. <laughs> What I mean is let them do certain things. They make their mistakes. Sometimes this is blown and that's happened. So what? That's your child. You go ahead and you purchase another one. But look at your child and say, Subhanallah. You know, some people are so selfish. So they only think about themselves. No one else. So my, it's my thing. My thing. You broke my phone. You dropped my phone. Is that what you did? Why? You know, there was a man who, and this is obviously on a lighter note, known as very, very selfish. Very selfish. Only worried about his material item. So he bought brand new BMW, right? So as he went onto the street, someone bashed into his BMW and he came out and he started screaming. How could you do this to my car? Brand new. Do you know how much I spent on this car? I spent a million dollars on this vehicle. And someone looked at him and said, hey, sorry, sorry, sorry. You're so materialistic. You worried about your car. You did not realize your left arm is missing. So he looked at his left arm, he said, my Rolex, my Rolex is gone. <laughs> May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. Imagine, we do this in our own homes. The child got cut with the glass, but we worried about the glass. That's what we do, I promise you. The child got hurt when the table fell, but we worried about the table. Relax, your child is more important than any glass. Throw all the glasses out, no problem. But watch your child. Don't be the man in the BMW. Don't. Let's call him the Rolex man. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and grant us ease. So this is the beauty of a family life is to prioritize correctly. You know, if you go to work and you are a hard working person, there is no job that is 24 seven. No. You will work from 8 to 5. I think in most countries you work from 8 to 5. And maybe if you are on night shift, you work from 5 to 8. Okay. A little bit less, I think. And the weekend, at least you get a day off. Am I right? If you don't, please go and complain to the courts. I'm sure they will do something about it. The problem with us, we complain that I go to work, I don't have time for my children. No, you do. But the time you have off, you're busy playing golf. You, you're busy going somewhere else. You're busy just driving your car around the city just to show, hey, I got a new car. Lucky, in Singapore, you get a fine for every little thing. It's expensive to even drive the car. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us ease. You are fortunate in this country in many ways that you think perhaps might be a little bit hard, but it's good because it keeps you in track. It keeps you in check. You need to watch. Be careful. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all.